Okay, maybe there's some relief in sight, okay? Maybe it ends today. I do have some disappointing news to start with, though. I was so excited to um, get summoned for the Dick Skin duo. Well, this one's getting demonetized on YouTube. I, I mean, the it it's Dutch. It was just, I was speaking Dutch accidentally. It's not illegal to speak Dutch, is it? It's not demonetizable to speak Dutch. Anyway, I was so excited to get summoned here. I thought I would be so helpful. I'm sorry to report the Dick Skin duo, trivial. It's, it's a non-engaging boss fight um, as a summon because you win every time. And that's, don't get me wrong, that's great, but it's kind of like brainless. Which is okay. I'm, I'm okay with it, but let me see here. Okay, where, where the heck was I supposed to be? Crumbling Farum Azula. Were we at the Crumbling Beast Grave? Were we at the Dragon Temple Lift? I don't remember. Either way, what I do know is that um, I farmed enough. I'm just going here for now. I fought... Um, I, I probably helped eight summons beat the Godskin duo last night. I'm taking those damn levels. <laughs> There's no... I'm taking three levels. No no doubt in my mind. At this point, pride comes before the fall. I'm just artificially extending uh, the length of the series here at this point. Why don't you give me... We don't really need more equip load. 60 extra HP? That's literally 3% more HP. Back of the napkin calculation... If, I, if I'm going to do that, why would I just get rid of the Baldachin's Blessing at this point, man? We don't need 1871. At this point, I think that you got to pump Dex. Every level in Dex gives us, you know, like maybe roughly 1% more damage. I'll take that at this point over 3% HP that I could just remove with the, the Baldachin's Blessing to begin with. Stairs, stairs. Okay, for people watching... On YouTube, stare is an emote that means, like, I can't believe you've done this. Look at just, like, not even thinking about it. Just popping a Lord's rune and not even enjoying, like, the runes entering my body. Just popping them, like, brrr, just throwing the most valuable consumable in the game into the fire. Oh, my God, I still need 17,000 more... Jeez Louise, man. There we go. What are people using for stare? I don't know. I just, it's one of those things where, like, I had to reconstruct the emote myself in my head so I can insert it in the chat whenever it shows up. Was I, was here, was here where I want to be? You were, I can't remember. The whole place is just made out of tornadoes, man. Um,. I want to head for this bridge. We could perhaps platform along this to get to here. That seems feasible. Honestly, this is just like trying to uh, drive down West Broadway while they do the, the Skytrain construction. Am I right, fellow Vancouverites? Am I right? I guess that's the price you pay for adequate public transportation, though, is like a 95% uh, increased chance of getting into a car accident driving along West Broadway while they build the train. Help, help, help. I don't want to fight all of you. I'm out of here. See you later. So true. So true. Now, don't go to the secret path this time. I gotta say, I'm loving these god rays. What if I just... You think I can make that one? <laughs> oh, no. The power of the PlayStation 5. The power of the sun in the palm of your hand. What the hell, man? There's too damn many of them. Yeah, yeah. I can make it. I can make it, dude. 
I just need like a GPS. Why do you look like you're covered in barnacles? I'm going as the, the loathsome dung eater for Halloween. So my mom glued a bunch of sliced banana uh, to the outside of an old raincoat. Honestly, I thought it was pretty creative. Now, th is this not where, what I do every time? And then I, I go, where am I going, Chad? And they go, it's a secret area. Don't go this way. Um, no, I was trying to get th there, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm so lost, man. Miyazaki, hire an urban planner 2022 challenge. Jeez Louise. Past Godskin is progress? Bro, there's like eight doors that come out of that guy. Or that, that fight. Oh, no. All I wanted was a golden lightning fortification. For a smithing stone eight. All that for a drop of titanite. Well, I'll fight this guy, because you never know what he might give me, right? Oh, my God. This shit is so confusing. It's like being in Macintosh Corey Hall. I don't get it. It's a very confusing building on my alma mater's campus. Anybody else Queens posting in chat? I'm just conflicted, man. I'm like Goods Hall right now. Like half of me is old, it's from like the 1800s, and then half of me is like so modern, it's from like 2006. I'm just gonna get burned again and probably die, if that's cool with everybody. What's your HP at? Two thousand and six was sixteen years ago. That's the joke. You guys see that great? Um, oh, see ya. That great uh, Jeff Foxworthy joke that the Netflix is a joke uh, account tweeted. She got me laughing so hard. Back when I was a kid, I played every sport, and the funny thing back then was to get a trophy, you had to win. He, someone's finally saying it, man. Someone's finally saying it. These participation trophies, eh, they've been getting off scot-free for too long. Nobody's been talking about it. I know where I'm going. Okay, so this is where you fight the Godskin duo. Pretend I'm a Lego robot. Where does one progress? Through the door on the right. Thank you. Okay. So easy, dude. Thanks for nothing. I'm just being an asshole, but it's funny. So it's okay. <laughs> what the hell? I remember, I was making progress yesterday. And then I got killed because I was just mashing L1, talking about something else. That sounds right. Dude, you're not wrong. There's been like a lot of um, not great stand-up comedy lately. I say that as someone who is like, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the stand-up. You know, I grew up watching. In Canada, at least, I, I can't speak for now, but hey, Big Booty Sauron. As, as a scholar of comedy, great name. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Um, anytime the Comedy Network was on TV, there was like an 80% chance it was just for laughs. Uh, reruns from like 1997. And you'd be like, whoa, dude, that's what young Ray Romano looks like. So I watched like a lot of stand-up growing up. I got a fondness for it. But uh, it is kind of, it seems very funny, the idea that you could just like go up on stage and tell jokes. 
Like, it seems like such an antiquated comedy formula, but I still, uh, I still enjoy it, or at least I think I do. But then also, I was trying to think of, like, the last stand-up comedy special I watched that I really liked. It's been a while, for sure, but, no, like, it's only been a couple of years, is what I would say. It's just, I feel like the barrier to entry for somebody, uh... For, to get me to laugh at somebody that's trying to be funny is so high. <laughs> but if somebody's just like, you know, it's so much more, it's easier to laugh when you're not expecting to laugh. Or like, you know, for example, what's the peak of humor in 2021, 2022? Um, I would say uh, the lawyer who accidentally had the cat filter on Zoom. And then said, Your Honor, I'm not a cat. Like, that stuff, you you go into it disarmed, so you don't have, like, a barrier to entry for laughing. But, like, when somebody has, like, a Netflix special and, like, a makeup person and a wardrobe and it's, like, lit amazingly, I'm like, you better be funny as hell, man. And it's actually, like... I don't know, like one in four. I'm like, okay, I see you there. Just for me. I did watch Middle Ditch and Schwartz. I thought Middle Ditch and I, I don't know why I can't say it right. I thought Middle Ditch and Schwartz was hilarious. I love the Mike Berbiglia specials. I love the Tom Segura specials. A new grace! <laughs> Do, 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 do. That's the Price is Right theme song. It just felt right coming out. Didn't even mention I think you should leave. That's because it's not stand-up comedy. It's two different things. That's, that's stand-up and clap comedy. Because it's so good. Tim Robinson must be one mean old bastard to bring us this comedy so early. Bo Burnham, my dude? I've only seen Inside, and I loved it, but I would not describe it as stand-up comedy. That's definitely like lay-down-on-your-side comedy. Smithing Stone 6? I went backwards? What the heck? Ah, too high up. Perhaps the only good piece of COVID media. No, there's gotta be... There's gotta be so... I know everyone's gonna be like, what about Gal Gadot's Imagine? Look. There's gotta be another good piece of... COVID media. Not just media that came out during COVID, but media where, where COVID is a defining element either of its production or of its actual uh, material. Tiger King? Okay, you know what? That's kind of like... I, I can't fight these guys. I'm just going to be honest, man. That's kind of fortuitous timing, but sure, maybe I, I would give you Tiger King. What, what if you just do this? Yeah, come on in. I'll, I'll burn a whole stack of blue uh, meter for this, I don't care. Hold on, I gotta think. I could go down here. Why not? God, then activate the elevator so you can come back up. So smart. And I should have jumped in probably, but... Um, oh, never mind. Not necessary. I do remember that I was playing Dark Souls 3 when... Um, you know, it was probably like May 2020 when we were like, Whoa, this thing's gone on for a long time. <laughs> It's, it is kind of surreal how long that it's uh, it's been going on. When uh, when lockdowns started, I was still at the point where I didn't even really like Dark Souls 3. I've come around so much. 
Drake Knight. How about that? You know what? I mean, this is not necessary. Oh, I gotta go back up, but that's okay. This is not necessarily... Um, you, you might take this as a false answer, but I don't mean it as a false answer. I feel... Oh, there's a, st a spot halfway through. I Oh, but maybe the top was not actually where we were at, but yeah, this is a new top, I think. Wow. Um, either way, I think the defining piece of media for early COVID, March 2020, is Animal Crossing New Horizons, without a doubt. Could this be a jumping, but don't you dare? Oh, I will dare. And then, like, you know, once it stopped being, like, novel... Oh, I was here once before. And started being like, oh. You know, this shit's just gone on for like a long fucking time. I feel like that's where I start to be a little bit more into the inside camp. And I don't know where we're at now. <laughs> to be honest. With uh, our daughter on her... Uh, Eighth consecutive day home from daycare because she's not really sick anymore, but once every two hours she coughs, so she's uh, legally not allowed to go to daycare or she'll be uh, detained by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I don't know where we're at, to be honest. Get off at the middle level. Okay, the middle level. <clears throat> He's done it. Look at that. Yeah, honestly, like, it, she would... She, if, if she went to daycare, I think Kate and I would end up in the hypogee in jail. You would have to, like, you know, walk past some weird surveillance worms in order to summon us. And then we'd be pissed, man. We'd be like, what? I was sleeping in that jail. I was in the I was in the jail. I definitely saw Apollo here. It's so funny because like when I saw Apollo here three days after the three days after the game came out. <clears throat> nice jump. Um, I didn't want to jump into the lightning, so I figured well, I better kill myself. Uh, when I saw Apollo here three days after the game came out. This blew my mind, and now it's literally like, another dragon. Oh, another dragon, huh? Oh, get some new material, Miyazaki. I don't want to fight the eagles every time. Oh my god. Lever? Lever? This one doesn't have a damn lever, man. Oh, this? No, I'm on the mid level. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, never mind. I almost went back on my hater arc. What's going on down here, though? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that's where I—that's where I got the shortcut in the first place. Why would you live here, dude? Like, it's just—it's getting ridiculous. This place is inhospitable. Free electricity? Alright, I'll give you that one. There's probably like some free electricity. But it's red electricity. That's dangerous. Like, I only want the yellow electricity. The stuff that comes out of your walls. I don't want any blue shit. I don't want any ball lightning. You're not dead, huh? I, I, I thought for sure you had died. You had no HP. There we go. Alright, that's pretty sick, I'll admit. 
Now, we're never going to use that unless we upgrade the Dung Eater set, but still. I know it's not somber. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's go. You're still chasing me. Holy cow. Just come here, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's what I thought. Why was his health so low? Because we beat the crap out of it in the secret area. And then it just flew away because it was scared. Isn't the color of electricity dependent on the gas that surrounds it? Bro, it's been like... I mean, I was talking about 2006 earlier, right? That was the year I graduated from high school. I haven't been in high school for like... You know, almost... A, a decade and a half, but we're rapidly approaching two decades. I don't... I don't know anything about like... Science experiments that were done in like... The mid-1800s anymore. But I do know how to like parallel park and, uh, you know, if I have to, like make small talk at the, the grocery store and stuff like that. And, you know, I know who has the right of way at like an intersection and stuff like that. Like actually important stuff, like not what color uh, neon gas glows when you put in a, a nine volt battery inside a glass tube that features the gas. There's got to be a grace here. I know this guy. I can make a phone call if I have to. There isn't? What the hell? My accountant emailed me at like 10.10 10 p.m. last night. I responded with the necessary documents by 10.22. Like, I'm an adult. I don't know anything about all this science stuff, man. Grace? 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 Oh, you're not the uh, uh, beast blood kindred. You're just like a guy. Sip me? Like, every scientist from the 1800s was like, he conceived of something that at the time was essentially science fiction. You wouldn't believe. Like, what, what the heck was he thinking? Double slit experiment. Everybody else was doing the single slit. He added a double split. So innovative. But then all, when you read, like, the personal life section of their Wikipedia page, it's always like, married his first cousin, died in squalor at age 38. They needed a life coach, man. Tycho Brahe, Nikola Tesla. They needed a life coach. They needed a mentor. Tycho Brahe lived it up. I guess he did have syphilis, if you consider that to be living it up. It, honest question, though, because I've, I've repeated this er, oft-repeated urban myth myself. I, but I don't know if it's an urban myth. Did Tycho Brahe legitimately die from holding his urine in for too long? Is it actually true? Now go back down. Okay, okay. Okay. He got an infection afterwards. Like, it was just, he was being too polite. Was anybody there? What the, this, was this even where I was earlier? I'm dead. I'm, I'm actually dead. How did, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> he was gaming and didn't want to get up. Dude, I legit, I think I've leveled up as an adult, or at least like I'm temporarily enjoying an adult uh, peak. Because last night it was like, oh. It was like 1040, right? And I was like, I want to fall asleep, but I felt like I had to go pee a little bit. 
So in my head, I was like, you could just fall asleep and like, you'll probably just hold it all night. But then I thought, no, man, it only takes like 45 seconds, go to the bathroom and pee, and then you won't wake up at like four in the morning uh, with like a raging need to pee. And you'll get a better sleep as a result. And you know what? I went up, I peed, I felt great about it, and then I woke up at four in the morning, you know, when the cats started getting up to their random bullshit for like no reason. They're like, I pooped, so I gotta scratch everything in your bedroom right now. But at least I didn't, I guess, get up twice. Okay, now we have to go back. Oh, 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 hold on. Behold, rump, let there be rot. Okay, honestly, it looks like he farted right on the top of this guy's head. I gotta give that an applause. I absolutely have to give that a, a, an appraisal. I appraise this message worthy. Wrong side? People said jump out the damn window, though. Turn around? Okay, but only if you say every now and then I fall apart. Go to the cliff with the blood stains. This is why Apple Maps failed, man. Google Maps be like... Head north. Apple Maps be like... Venture to the cliff with the blood stains. Oh, the other cliff. By, with the trees. Dang, this is like trying to get instructions from like Tom Bombadil. Is this cliff right here? Okay, okay. Where the messages are. Oh, okay, right here. I understand. Seek down? Okay. I think I could live here. Yeah, it didn't even hurt, honestly. You know what's crazy? I remember like the first time of uh, the first stream we played Elden Ring, but even beyond like first stream, the first, uh, within the first hour, we rode out to the east side of Limgrave and there was like a tornado just chilling in the water. And I was like, what's going on with that? And now like there's a tornado right here. I don't think it's the same one. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that that tornado was like right here. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that, but it's just just something interesting to think about, huh? Try gesture. Likely are you ready, dragon ahead. Calmness. It's like a dream. Corpse. Lay in the sand. Ah. Would they accept sitting sideways? Would they accept curl up? Oh, just press triangle to lay down. Miyazaki, you've done it again. Dude, I don't think this tornado is strong enough to pick me up. I'm just going to be honest with you. Oh, hold on. I'm traveling back through time. Maybe we're about to fight Miquela before they became uh, an egg with a tiny arm poking out of it. I went, I, because I'm so close to the end of the game and I don't really care about spoilers, I went to r slash Elden Ring last night and I popped into some lore threads thinking I would have any concept of what's going on. Still none. And moreover, I am just stunned at the amount of people that happen to be able to 
glean the lore? Like, I don't, did, were you able to glean the lore just from the dialogue? Because you're writing essays about the lore that are longer than the sum total of the script of Elden Ring. Well, originally there were, uh, you know, a bunch of demigods, and here's who they are, and here's their relationship with one another, and like, some of them are clones of other ones. And then before the Elden Ring was shattered, it was a blam, 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 and then blam, 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 I, I'm sure that the DLC is going to deal with the story of Blurm before um, the Blurm happened and Blurm happened. I would love to see Radon in his prime before the Blurm got Blurmed and Blurmed, and maybe... Uh, did you know that, like, historically, Radon and Millennia actually engaged in battle together? Um, but Radon was at his peak, so he was able to defeat Millennia, but Millennia is now at her peak because she's fully ascended to the goddess of Scarlet Rot. Like, how do you, how do you pick that up, man? It's crazy. Dragon Lord plus Citizax. What? Plus Citizax? I'm just gonna roll through that. You can't stop me. All right, like, you can stop me. One of these, I, when I get that dodge timing down, you're fucked. Or if I hit you one time. Lightning, huh? Lightning fire? That's a new one. When did you become the loathsome dung eater? I'm not loathsome. I'm just wearing his clothes, okay? Oh, I love this. Hold on. Stay here. Note to self. He seems pretty strong against bleed. Or does he? I don't know. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, we got him! We got a bleed trigger. No! Oh! I'm insane. Alright, I don't know what's going on with that or whatever. Phase 2. Redon me. He's invisible. I love a boss fight you gotta use your ears on, man. Hey, yo, what the dragon doing? Ooh! Mm -mm. Okay. That one, you know, I gotta be honest, you kinda got me on that one. Not today, motherfucker. I'm going in. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. That seems bad. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I think that was a smart decision. No, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I, was, I was staggered because I used so much stam. No, oh, Bladusadex. Whoa. Whoa. Ten times Miyazaki completely understood the assignment. Dragon Lord Pledusidax is an optional boss held in crumbling Faramazula, a once majestic land that has been ravaged since the sundering of the Elden Ring. Now, you might be tired of fighting dragons by the time you reach crumbling Faramazula because they make up 90% of the bosses that you fight in the game. However, Dragon Lord Pledusidax mixes it up by having an impronounceable name and several forms and mixes up damage types in order to cause you to be on your best behavior. I'm dead. I will die to this light. That's fire. That's fine. I thought we did pretty well there. All things considered, I thought we did pretty well.
Long boss run, though. Don't do it. Don't do it. Reconsider. Read some litter, chur on the subject, <laughs> you sure? <laughs> oh, man. I forgot where I was going. That was 80k? Alright, I mean, 80k is... That's, that's somewhat significant. That's, that's two trips to the, uh, to the dickskin duo right there. I'm being legitimate with you, though. I was a little bit annoyed when I got summoned at the uh, Godskin duo, and they're actually, like, so easy in multiplayer that it's kind of boring. I was so ready for it to be, like, exciting. I was ready for it to be uh, a challenge. But even, like, hosts who are not good, not to be, like, super rude, but, you know, like most of them, uh... We, we won literally like 80% of the time. It turns out at the end of the day, it's just two guys. Hosts who have gotten this far know how to fight at least. I mean, all I'm going to say is you might be a little surprised. The answer may surprise you. Deep within the crumbling Farron Azula, there's... An easy-to-miss area that requires some platforming, but thankfully, due to the addition of the jump button, Elden Ring allows you to reach it in a way not possible in other Souls games. Other related art, you searched how to beat Plucid Sacks. Here's another article for you. Ten times Robert Pattinson understood the assignment. Here's another related article you might be interested in. Ten Berserk references in Miyazaki Properties. Here's another related article you might be interested in. Makeup tutorial, the perfect smoky eye. Here's another article you might be interested in. You won't believe what 17 child actors look like now in their 30s. Sip me? I gotta admit, this guy's looking pretty cool. He's a dragon lord too, is a thing. Ten gorilla videos not to watch at 3.02 p.m. I'm insane again. Okay, that one I feel like I could have dodged, but I chose not to. Just to give him a fair chance. Claw me. Oh! Oh, he's critable! Now, you definitely should crit, I think, instead of pizza cutting, but I didn't know... He's just like an amorphous mass. I didn't know where the crit uh, zone would be. <clears throat> You're not wrong. I gotta remember to give it a little jiggle. Don't say it. Don't say it. Sure, very clever. NL can't find the crit. Very humorous. Very humorous indeed. Ooh. Nice claw. Just kidding. You stink. I'm kind of insane at this boss. Did you get critted again? Oh! Per vision! We just hit him right in the Mind Stone. He's like, I'm out of here! He finally found it. Let me hit it from the back, girl. I won't catch a hernia. Bust off on your couch. Now you got Siemens furniture. You flying out of here?
What? What? Is that a real lyric? Yeah, it's from a tribe called Quest. One of the all-time greatest hip-hop groups. Get ready. I mean, I'm cracked as hell. You're nothing. I actually have trained classically and contemporaneously. Okay, I didn't think you would do it again, but that's on me. That one's just on me. That one's that one's more on you, but that's okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, this one. Just do your best. Be kind to yourself. You don't have 100% control in that situation. Placidusics. Come back here. We're spinning. You can take the horse out of the fight, but you can't take the fight out of the horse. Don't leave. I need to hit you. You're such a piece. I'm out of green and I'm going to be covered in fire. Never mind. I'm insane. Perfect pizza cutter opportunity. No! Oh! <laughs> Free Schmurda. Uh Dragon Lord Placidusix. This dude was no sweat, man. What a pizza cut. Who would have thought? And only 200k runes? You won't believe this. 10 tips douchebags use to terrorize fast food workers disguised as secret menu items. Did you know at McDonald's... If you ever, you ever get a soggy order of french fries at McDonald's and get all entitled about it because you expected it to be a good restaurant because you're a fucking idiot? Just order your fries with no salt. As they salt them when they're in the warmer, they'll have to cook a fresh batch just for you, mommy sweet little prince. They're legally not allowed to be mad at you until you leave the restaurant. Fifteen thousand, not fifteen hundred, dude. I'm so jacked up right now. Fifteen thousand is like fifteen hundred to me. I do order no salt on my fries because of hypertension. Look, I'll give you a pass on that one. If you have a medical exemption. Okay, where the, the hell was I supposed to be, man? This is this is Dick Skin Duo. How the hell did we go to Great Bridge? Oh, okay. Is beside the Great Bridge okay? Just don't order fries if you have hypertension. Bro, you might have hypertension right now, okay? You're saying that. You feel, like, so smug. If I had hypertension, I would simply eat perfectly all the time. The symptoms of hypertension are oftentimes very subtle uh, until they've reached the point at which you find yourself going to the uh, medical professional. You might have that shit right now as we speak. Oftentimes it just gets discovered on a routine series of diagnostic tests from your general practitioner. You might be living with that shit right now. Ten signs you have hypertension. Oh, fine. If, if we gotta... I'm going in. Loretta? Look, it's Loretta's boyfriend! Wait, is Loretta the tree sentinel? Hold on, I'm picking up all sorts of lore. Man, I wish I had dodged that one. I'm just realizing Loretta and the tree sentinel have a lot in common. They both wear heavy armor. They both um, have a horse and a colossal weapon. Can you stop doing the same move over and over? It's just kind of like anti-fun. 
That was a great attack. You just got me. Guy who has fought 17 dragons, 12 Loretta's, 52 tree sentinels, and 117 uh, crucible warriors. Getting a lot of tree sentinel vibes from this guy. I didn't even mention the Erdtree avatars. Tree Sentinel with lightning? With no brim? With rice? 8 out of 10. Oops. Who do you think you are, Placid Usyx? Ten times, Tree Sentinel understood the assignment. Don't shoot fire at me. I desperately need to heal. Let's go. Please stop. Sorry, I've been spending a lot of time on the internet, like, since I was, like, a teenager. You're so lucky you read my inputs. You're so lucky you probably think this song is about you. Ooh, he's slicing, he's slicing. That's BS. I'm sipping again, you can't stop me. What are you gonna do, shoot fire at me? Oh, how original. <laughs> <laughs> Malformed Dragon Helm. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool gear, don't get me wrong. How many souls we get for that? Somber 7, always useful. Like, none souls. Malformed, so true. Are you Malekith? I've been waiting for you for a long... No, you're not Malekith, you're just like a little beast, dude. You're just like a dog. Okay, I mean, that's kind of like annoying. You're throwing rocks at me? We're at the end of the game, you're throwing rocks at, like gravel? You're trying to hit me with the pocket sand? Do you realize, like, what an indictment that is of your ability to kill me in combat? He's coming up, you knew that was coming. I will say he's pretty quick for a big guy. Like, he, honestly, I would make him uh, an outside linebacker for sure. I think this guy could definitely contribute to the blitz if necessary. Okay, we've been a little heavy on the flask usage, don't get me wrong. <laughs> We also fought a tree sentinel before coming in here. Phase two? Oh, it's bigger. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is Merica's half-brother? I don't even know what the hell that means. Who the hell is Merica, man? Is Merica a lady? Because this guy's a fucking werewolf. How could they be a half-brother? I don't understand. Queen Merica? Who the hell is Queen Merica?
from the ch she makes the stat she makes the statues that you respawn at oh i love that about her she's the god of this world dude that's got to be hard for this guy all of a sudden i understand why he's so angry like he's she's the god of this world and they're related and he's just like a little dog all right Oh, this guy is Malekith. Say no more. Found him. Oh boy, another boss whose name starts with an M. <laughs> Wait, so I've been giving Malekith a uh, death root this whole damn time? Seems a little sussy. America's the crux of the entire game. Margit is the crux of the whole game. People aren't ready to hear that yet, but like... I'm about to crack the case wide open. It all comes back to Margit. Okay, honestly... I gotta give you a great deal of respect. Those are some very solid attacks. That I was just going brainless on that one, let's be honest. <laughs> the other b guy you've been giving death root to is Garonk. You're telling me this isn't Garonk though? Like, just in, cause we're in like an alternate realm right here. Like, we, we've traveled through, like, we've slipped in a space between uh, dimensions, so we're kind of, like, in between time and space. I think it's the same guy, man. Somebody's got to call Vadi. I need, like, an Animaniacs song to teach me the names of all the... NPCs in this game. America, Millennium, Melana. You know, you get the idea. Garank and Godfrey and Geet. Morgan and Margaret and Megatron. Modeling. I can't, I mean, that's a really fast thing to have to come up with words for. I, that shit is like, like 300 BPM. Have mercy, like I tried my best. I'm just dead. Okay. okay, stop moving so much. You killed me with gravel. That hurts. <laughs> this guy doesn't even know who Radagon is. I know who Radagon is. He's the guy who owns all those red wolves. Radagon, Radon, and Rani, and Rena, and Saluvius, E.G. and Blade, and Megatron, Optimus, the one that's a cheetah, the one that's a rhino, okay. I, I'm just checking out over here for a second. Try jumping. I'm okay. Don't even get me started on those dragon names, man. Don't even get me started. Hey, yo, Beast Wars, though? Beast Wars probably represents 90% of the Transformers time I've ever spent interacting with the franchise. There's an invader that way. All right, excuse me. 